I've spent the past few days stacking rocks with my backhoe up against this hillside. The back of the house here has been unfinished for years and I'm finally down the checklist to get this done. So I've cut away the hill and I'm going to push in those big rocks into it to make sort of a, a barrier wall. I didn't film putting in these big rocks on the machine because it's boring. But the next part I'm doing is not so boring. Inside the solarium, you might remember I have all of the cooling tubes put down into the concrete. I have two layers of cooling tubes that I'm going to be flushing the water from the cistern through to cool the greenhouse. Those lines I haven't put in yet. That's what I'm working on today. I'm going to be following the path from the cistern behind all of the rocks down and straight into the greenhouse. I designed these stairs to be somewhat moderately easily removable. I have to do that for you. I have the inlet and outlet pipes, what's going to circulate water in the solarium. I'll put in, sealed up, I put in some, I put in some foam around the pipes just to help protect them around this corner. And more importantly, on the edge of that rock, just so that as the pump turns on and off, they don't move and start to fray. I know I'm not supposed to direct bury this pipe, this PEX, but it, this isn't anything critical. And if it ever breaks or deteriorates, I'll just dig it up and do it again. No big deal. Next up is the drain from the downspout. I'm going to rework that on the other side of this so it's hidden. And then down and out, it's going to take a couple of angles, a uh, little bit of canoodling. So directly off the deck, right here, is bedrock. This is actually rock. So I'm going to have to dig down next to it and do a couple of 45s to get around this. So you might ask why I'm using this solid pipe. It's a sewer drain or a DWV, drain waste vent, instead of the bendable black corrugated stuff. And honestly, you know, I clean gutters for a living, so I see them all the time. And they just, they hold debris in the little corrugations. Um, they're fragile. Over time, they decay and break. I don't ever want to have to dig this back up, so I'm just taking the extra time to do it the uh, the right way, I guess. I don't know. It's just once and done. I'm not going to have to worry about it again.
Okay, there we go. So this is going to be the overflow. I'm still going to be using my filter, which I'll show you here in a little while. Um, and this is the overflow for that. So it's going to go down. And then I'm going to connect another pipe, which I don't have, out. So I have one more set of pipes that I'm going to use to go next to this one down over and then into the tank, which is over there, for the filtered water to fill the cistern. Before I lay the pipe, I need to get an actual flat level uh, nesting area for the pipe to go from the inlet of the tank all the way through to where it's going to poke up over there. So that means filling in all the holes and compacting everything so that over time the pipe doesn't just sink and then I end up with dips in it and it wouldn't be good to have water standing in it at any rate. So I'm probably going to get the machine and dig out and compact. It's going to be kind of hard to get all the dirt in all the little tiny nooks and crannies behind the rocks. So I'm going to use water and a garden hose. I'll show you that in a minute. So let me get this going, get this compacted in before I put in the next pipe. So I put in four or five shovelfuls of loose dirt. I don't want to compact it because there's pipes down in here. So I'm going to use water. This actually works fairly well, makes a right royal mess, but it's getting late enough in the day that uh, this will just be the last step before tomorrow. This actually works fairly well. So you can see that it pulls all of the dirt down and fills in all the little tiny voids and crevices as the water pushes down and seeps away and self compacts decently well. Once this is dried out, I'll keep layering on top of it and just keep doing this. There was a void under the pipe and you can see it's pulling all that dirt, all that dirt, yeah, <clears throat> all that dirt under the pipe and filling everything in. This is one good thing about being on a well. <laughs> I don't have to pay for this water. Benefits of living in the country. And now it's going to start raining. That's not helpful at all. Alright, uh, that'll hold it temporarily. <laughs> we'll see what this uh, cloud gives us. Yesterday it rained a ton. The ground outside is still really, really squishy. I don't want to go out there yet. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to stay inside here, let that flash off out there. There's some things that I had wanted to do this set of stairs for a while, um, but I haven't had an excuse to take them off and do them to the stairs, so now I'm going to, since they're off anyway. Okay. Stairs inside are done. I got them all reattached, put back together. I just need to put the railing on and I'm going to move back out here. It's been two days. Uh, this area is finally dried up enough where I can actually work again. I'm going to get back on the machine and have at it. It's been right at a week or so now uh, of just sort of picking at it a little bit every day trying to move just a few rocks a day and it is progressing swimmingly let me show you where I'm at right here off of the door in the porch I have the drain line put in the ground under there this is black pipe is temporary my filter is all set back up again 
I may do a video again about this whole system, but it uh, has worked very well in the past. I need to get a couple of plumbing parts to hook up the overflow into the overflow pipe. And everything past that, all the way across, the pipe is in, most of the dirt is in, and I'm compacting and putting in all of the rocks. You can see from up top here, it leaves a nice area right in the back, sort of a little alcove that I'm hoping to eventually put in a patio, but we're just gonna have to see where I end up with it. So I'm gonna continue building the wall all the way across, all the way around the big tank and get it completely buried. I've gotta take the rocks all the way across into the hillside. And this is the pile I'm dealing with, pulling out all the rocks that are in there, all the big ones with the machine, picking out the ones I want, putting them into the bucket and then lifting up onto the wall you know how to eat an elephant one bite at a time over the past week or so I've gotten as much of this done as I possibly can dodging rainstorms I keep having to wait a couple of days for everything to thaw out no not thaw out dry out enough that I can get back in here but you can see the progress I've made pretty good and I'm not sure if I like the rocks across the top. I don't know if it fits it. Anyway, we have another massive storm coming in. I actually have a tornado watch. So that'll be fun. Okay, bye.